Hey, what's up everybody? This is Mike. Welcome back to another video. <laughs> Today's video is sponsored by Insta360. So the topic of today's video is the old air unit versus the new O3 air unit. Which one should you pick? Is it worth upgrading to the new O3 air unit on all of your quads? And kind of me sharing my impressions, my thoughts and feedback on the new O3 air unit after flying with it for a month or so. Right, so starting out first is of course the video quality that you will be getting from both of these devices. Uh, and of course, unfortunately, there really is no competition. When we talk about video quality here between the air unit and the new O3 air unit, there really is no comparison between the two. The footage coming out from the old air unit is practically unusable if you want to put it out somewhere and share it with someone. It's really not pleasant to look at. Now, granted, it really depends what you compare it with. So if you compare it to analog, of course, you will feel like this is amazing. However, if you want to directly compare it to the O3 air unit, it's just game over. The footage coming from the O3 air unit has a fantastic clarity. You have so much more detail. You have a lot more dynamic range. And of course, you have a lot better resolution and frame rate options that you can choose from. So the 4K 60 frames per second from the O3 air unit is a perfect choice if you want to completely rely on that footage only and you don't want to use an action camera, you don't want to make your FPV quad uh, a lot heavier, you can rely only on the O3 air unit. It's fantastic and a great, great choice for replacing your action camera. However, there are some caveats because if you want to use the O3 air unit as your only device and not have an action camera at all on your quad, there are some caveats because sometimes you don't want to have the same settings on the recording device that you're using and on the FPV camera that you're using. And since the O3 Air unit combines both into one device, it can get a little messy if you rely on the manual camera settings, you slap an ND filter on the camera itself, you will have a lot more motion blur and you will see that in your camera itself. And speaking about goggles, uh, there is a big thing that I want to focus on when we talk about the old air unit versus the new air unit, and that is the goggles. The older DJI goggles V2 are a lot more bulkier, they're a lot heavier, but there's one thing that you cannot take away from them. They are super, super comfortable to wear and use for a longer period of time. Now, when I use the new DJI Goggles 2, I can say the same thing. They are amazingly compact. They are super lightweight. However, they just don't sit well on your face. That's, I guess, some compromise that they have made with the design when making them so much more portable and lightweight. But this little bridge here on your nose is the biggest area that I have problems with when we talk about the DJI Goggles 2. Uh, they are not very comfortable if you are flying for a lot of batteries and you're spending a lot of time with the goggles on your face. You will feel like this area here on your face gets really uncomfortable and it's just not that soft feeling that you get from putting the DJI Goggles V2, especially if you have upgraded to uh, the foam padding that they offer, they are super, super comfortable. The new Goggles don't have that soft padding on your face, so they don't really feel comfortable after longer periods of time. And if you're flying a lot and you're spending that much money for these Goggles, I think that's something that shouldn't be neglected and you should be aware of this. After flying for almost three years with the old Air Unit and Vistas, and now switching to the O3 air unit, I feel like right now there really is no difference between the signal strength between the old air unit and the new O3 air unit. For now at least, I am noticing the same way of degrading the signal, the same blurriness and blockiness after you start losing the signal. So there really is no difference, at least in my opinion, in the quality of the signal. The biggest difference, of course, is the quality of the DVR. And I think this is what makes the biggest impact for any FPV flyer out there, especially if you have just finished flying the old air unit and then you switch to the O3 air unit, you will feel the difference in a big way because your eyes will immediately notice all of these different details that previously were a little smudge on the screen and were just not that, that visible, that clear. Now it's all clear, it's, it's just 
very 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 beautiful and it is a massive difference in the flying performance the flying experience of your drone this is where i want to take a second and thank the sponsor of today's video insta360 they've been a long time supporter of my channel and they wanted me to let you know about the latest firmware update for their new x3 camera I've been using the X3 camera not only to put it on my drones and get that specific droneception front look, but also to capture some unique shots of me riding my bike, which is one of my biggest hobbies, both in 360 mode with the invisible stick mounted on the bike itself, or as an actual action camera in single lens mode, attached either on a chin mount or on a chest mount for that first person view action. So with the new firmware update for the X3, you can now use the pre-recording function, which allows you to quickly capture footage Prior to actually starting the recording, you have me mode improvements, more frame rates and resolutions for 360 video, and also you have improved AI editing algorithm. Finally, Insta360 is currently hosting a big holiday sale, so make sure you check the link in the description if you want to know more details about their discounted products and free gifts. So since DJI stated that they're officially going to support the older air units and not the Vistas, just the air units, the, the ones that they have made previously with the new goggles, so you will have the chance to cross use the old air units with the new goggles or use the new O3 air units with the old goggles, you will have a lot more flexibility to choose which system is the right one for you, which product is the right one for you, since they are all using the same system uh, pretty much. But I feel like the new system really makes sense for anyone looking to upgrade to the best quality possible because the quality is definitely uh, the, the number one thing that you'll be gaining after upgrading to this new product. With the 30 milliseconds of latency on the O3 air unit, I don't really feel like there is much of a difference unless you are a racer. You probably Probably won't even notice that latency that that difference in the latency which is about five milliseconds from the vistas and the air units from before uh, and the new o3 air unit it's not really a big deal especially if you're focusing mostly on cinematic flying or even freestyle that is not super super close uh, like some proximity freestyle that some people do you probably won't even notice the difference in conclusion i think the o3 air unit is a must-have product for anyone looking to have the best quality possible inside their goggles but not only that because you can potentially ditch your action camera as well so you can combine these two into one device and only use that. Uh, I think for many, many people, the O3 air unit will be the better way to go. However, if you don't want to spend that much money for upgrading to the O3 air unit on all of your quads, and you are heavily invested into the DJI ecosystem with the air units and Vista uh, products that uh, you are happy with on your quads, I would say stick to them because the air unit uh, mostly provides, the new air unit that is, mostly provides visual upgrades to uh, the whole experience. It's not like it's going to boost your signal, it's not going to give you more uh, penetration, better signal and more kilometers that you can fly away from you, uh, but it will give you that that clarity that beautiful image inside the goggles and also uh, on the sd card if you are recording with the air unit as well uh, but for some people that's not important you can see many people still fly analog systems in 2022 they don't care about the flying experience they don't care about having good image inside the goggles because they care about latency more uh, and if that's the case then of course the ultra air unit is not the one for you it really does depend on how you fly your drones if if you are a lot more into cinematics and you know getting that shot maybe the o3 will be perfect for you but if you are more into racing faster paced freestyle uh, and if you want to save up money as well then of course the o3a unit will not be the one for you with that being said hopefully this video has been informative for you to see the differences between the original air unit and the new o3 air unit i hope it was informative and helpful for at least some of you let me know in the comment section below if it was drop a like if you have enjoyed this video and i'll see you in the next one very very soon ciao